Hi, my name is Miles. Welcome to City Drinking's Mixology Podcast. And today I'm going to show you how to make a, a Miso. I named this drink after my wife a couple of years ago. I entered a competition, did really, really well in it. Uh, it's a fantastic drink. It can be served in lots and lots of different ways, either short, which I'm going to serve it today, or you can have a little bit of soda water for a nice, long, refreshing drink. It's really easy, very, very quick to make. Um, there's a little skill involved because it involves fresh chilli. And with fresh chilli, you do need to be careful. Uh, so what I'm going to do straight away is just grab my Miles Hitty glass and uh, chill it down. The point is pouring a cold drink into a room temperature or a warm glass. Not much sense in that at all. So we're going to leave that to chill there nicely. Now all I'm going to add is uh, half a lemon, or three wedges. We cut all our lemons into six, so it's really easy to tell how much you need. It's about 25 mils of fresh lemon juice, but obviously with the season, and depending on where the lemons come from, that will vary. That all goes in there. Leave the holes in there as well. You get an awful lot more flavour from the citrus skin rather than from the actual juice. So by letting the ice sort of compound or damage or break the surface of the skin, you release some of the essential oils. Next, elderflower cordial. Again, just 25 mils. When you're making cocktails, it's always best to put the cheapest ingredients in first. If you do mess up, it's just the cost of half a lemon or a shot of elderflower cordial. Um, 25 mils of water as well. The cordial is quite sweet, you can sort of water it down if you want to. But it's much easier when you're making your drinks, so just keep it nice and simple. 50 mils of uh, vanilla vodka, the choice is yours. There's quite a few out there on the market. Uh, you see me using one of these measures. Basically, if you haven't got one of these at home, get yourself an egg cup or the old fashioned film canisters, are about 30 mils in volume. The drink now is pretty much made, all we need is chili. Now, they say that one in five chilies possess no heat. Uh, you can give that a go if you want. Um, I tried it the other day and it doesn't work. Get your chili, you only need a very, very small amount. So it's literally just the tip of it, drop it straight in. And now you have to work really fast because that chili is going to start to infuse flavour into the drink really quickly. So, get out our ice. Quick tap, and then we need to shake it really fast, really hard, and then we're going to double strain it just to make sure that the chili is there, but it's only a small bite. It doesn't need to be too overpowering. Nice quick shake. Quick taste. Make sure everything's right. Stunning. Right. All we're going to do now is just double strain. Basically, it's a large, oversized tea strainer, okay? And just pour in. Couldn't be simpler. You do have to be careful with the chili. Uh, I have experienced this drink quite a few times, um, and it's just, it's just too hot. It's quite painful. Um, I was stuck when I was entering the competition. I was stuck with the garnish. I didn't really know what to use. Um, then I stumbled across bird's eye chilies. Um, very easy, very simple. Throw it in and it floats and surf. One my zone. Thanks very much.